Hello friends, in this video we will see how to render images from byte array in a VC3 Razor. Often we store our images in database as in byte array. So we, there, we, there we find a challenge how to render an image from that byte array. So in this video we have explained two ways by which the images can be rendered on UI from the image byte array. Now we have an application where we can upload an image and uh, we'll be, we will be showing how to render that uploaded image and using two ways now as a database structure we have a simple table that is which includes four columns that is image id image name and image bytes and extension so let's first upload a single image and this is the upload image form i choose a file i choose one image and i say upload and if i go to db so you can see the image is uploaded with the bytes now the currently my image id is 2 so i have to make changes in the application to make it render for 2 now if i click on render image you can see we have uploaded the same image the same image is getting rendered from the byte array now let's debug and see how it's happening so this is the this is the action method which is called that is rend render image bytes and what it what it does let's see let's refresh the page now the debugger hits the, the debugger hits the action method now we have created an object of image view model now this view model has one property which is image bytes so we are filling this image bytes with the image bytes which is uploaded to the database and we are returning it to the view as a part of view model a property of view model so here we create a, an object of view model and we have a service class where we are interacting with the database so I am creating a, an object of service class as well and this is the service class method which accepts the image id as 2 and it returns the image bytes of the image and this gets stored in the model property that is image bytes which is returned to the view now if you see the view it refers to the image view model the one which we see just uh, 2 minutes back with the property image bytes so here, here what we are doing, we have an image tag and here we are source, we are saying render an image from the image bytes and we are converting it to HTML or draw and we are rendering it in JPG format. So by this way we can use the image bytes to render the image and we can assign it to the image source so this is the first way by which we can render the image if I if I and you can see the image is rendered now there's one more way now let's comment this way and the second way is using the action URL method in this case we don't require view model so I am erasing the view model part so now if I refresh the page okay. we are passing a wrong image id as I said our image id is 2 so I will be passing here 2 if I re refresh the page so it renders the image again now in this case we are calling an action method which is get image the name of the action method and it is present in the image controller and we are passing an image id which is 2 so if you go to this method what it consists of so it's basically a file content result method which accepts an image id that is 2 and it does the same thing it creates a, serv a service object and we get a image bytes from the database 
and then it's returning a file content result that is the byte array and the extension of image in which the image should be rendered and this is assigned to the source of the image so let's debug this as well and see now if I refresh the page the debugger hits this method 2 is the image ID it gets a byte array and it returns a file content result so the image is rendered using the file content result method and it returns a byte array in the same in the format of the image so these are the two ways by which we can render image from the byte array in MVC3 phaser. Thank you friends.